Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews, doing yet another beer I got on tape, or I actually got this back in the December crate, not the January crate. So this is a collab between Crooked Stave and Schilling Hard Cider. Spice Sour Ale, aged in oak barrels with apples, 8% ABV. Oh, by the way, so it's called Excelsior Chai, and it's got a giraffe with an astronaut. <laughs> All right, so we get into the glass glass, and you can see coming out of the can, it's like a, it's like a brown ale or something. You know, it's a definitely. I mean, anybody not call that brown? A little hazy, um, almost kind of like a chocolatey thing. Pours to you know a pretty decent foam at first, but as always, it fizzles away. Then again, it is a sour; it's very acidic. So, yeah, this is um, uh, definitely what as it's marketed a sour apple type aroma so to me it kind of smells like apple pie but also with that clean lactic acidity almost like yogurty so maybe like if you had like a, a apple pie flavored yogurt like a greek yogurt yeah to me it's just apple cinnamon sourness so it smells like can it smells like candy and like pie and uh I will say like there is like a legit maltiness there, which you don't tend to get a lot in sours. I mean, it is eight percent ABV, which means they probably had to use a lot of malt to get, you know. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know if you saw my my face there, but I was like, "Wow, that's really <laughs> that's really sour." Um, yeah, it's definitely one of the most sour beers I've had. On the scale of like one to ten, the first sourness is probably like a at least an eight, maybe a nine. Yeah, so now that I've taken a few sips, I actually think like when beers are this sour, it takes you like two or three sips for your palate to actually get used to it. Um so like it's now I'm actually tasting the, the underlying beer. And like I said about the aroma, like apple pie kind of flavor. Um, yeah, so apple pie, like, you know, like an apple puree, cinnamon, definitely. Um, you know, and also, it's I, I would definitely call it sour um, and, and quite tart as well, which is interesting because usually when you think of tartness, you think of like green, you know, Granny Smith apples, those are very tart. Red apples, which you tend to get in pies, um, are more sweet. And what's nice is, this is actually a pretty strong sour. You know, most sours are like table kind of beers, like 5% or less. And this is 8%. So it does have, you know, quite a bit of a malty backbone to it. I would not call it toasty, roasty, nothing like that. Slightly, slightly confectionery, but I mean, it's just that you know the the sour character plus you know the apple-y plus like the chai you know uh, chai I, you know i keep saying cinnamon it's called excelsior chai for a reason so they're using chai spice so i mean chai and cinnamon are pretty close as far as flavor but you know i'm no chef <laughs> yeah so sour throughout I will say it's like a clean sour. It doesn't taste like um, something spoiled or anything like that. Uh, nice malty backbone to it. And th the body is actually, I'd probably call it like medium. You know, it has like an actual, you know, kind of a beefy body. Still has like, you know, the I would say like moderately high to high carbonation. You know, most sours tend to be, you know, quite effervescent. Yeah, I'd probably call this like moderately high. I don't think I'd go so, so far as say high carbonation but yeah it's it's actually really drinkable eight percent abv um maybe just like the tiniest little bit of warmth although i mean also when you have acidic beers like this you might get a little bit of burn off of that as well oh yeah i got this on tavor link in the description below use my code you get ten dollars off your first purchase and let them know that i sent you all right so how to score the excelsior chai Well, I am not a huge fan of sours, especially kettle sours, like these types of beers. Um, 
like I like I said, I like the Belgian all natural sours, the lambics, the goose, even um, you know the Flanders Red, Oud Brew, and stuff like that. Um, this to me, you know, these types of beers usually come off as like just straight up like so fake and fa, but this seems like the real deal, and it also has like a nice kind of beer cider, you know, hybrid kind of flavor going to it. So it, there just doesn't seem anything like fake about this. But uh, I'd be really interested to see what a real sour um, snob would think of this beer. I mean, but it is by Crooked Stave, and they tend to do those sour and wild beers really well. So as far as the score for Excelsior Chai, um, yeah, I like it. I'm going to go solid 4 out of 5, you know, like 8 out of 10, B, B plus kind of range. Um, you know, I, this isn't something I would like to drink all the time, but, you know, I'm glad I got it in my crate. So, I mean, I can do one sour per crate, but uh, I'm not getting sours all the time. So, anyways, let's wrap this up. If you watch all the way in, you're awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.